Okay, for the brownies, we have a half a cup of uh, melted butter, one and a half cups of sugar. We're going to add in two teaspoons of vanilla extract. We're going to crack two eggs. The dry ingredients are three-fourths cups of all-purpose flour, a half a cup of uh, cocoa, half a teaspoon of salt, and then three ounces of semi-sweet chocolate. On the butter, one and a half cups is equal to nine ounces. So if you want to weigh it out that way, you can weigh it out that way. Okay, so in a bowl, you're going to get your wet ingredients. So uh, you'll get your butter, that it's melted. Make sure that it's not too hot so that when you add your eggs, it, it uh, scrambles your eggs. So let it cool down for a little bit. You're going to add your eggs to it. Mix it up really good. You can see it. Then you're going to add your sugar. Mix that in. Break down any lumps. The flour has already been sifted. Then you're going to add your vanilla extract. And again, these have all been uh, sifted. So you're going to add your cocoa, your salt, half teaspoon, and your flour. And mix it up. Be careful when you initially mix, the flour will come out. So make sure it's all in first. Once you mix it in, then you can add your uh, chocolate chips. So all we're going to do is mix this in really good. Make sure you get the edges. And then add in your three ounces of chocolate chips. Then you're going to get a your pan, spray it with nonstick spray, and then add your brownie mixture into it. Smooth it out. Make sure you get all of it. Place in a 350 degree oven anywhere from 12 to 18 minutes going to remove your uh, brownies from the oven. You want to check it with a toothpick, make sure it comes out clean. If it comes out a little bit, that's fine. Remember you have chocolate chips in there. So just take another check to make sure that this should be cooked. There's a little bit, so you're good. There's carryover cooking, so that will continue to cook. You want to let it rest anywhere from 10 to 15 minutes before you remove it from the pan. Okay, after it's set for 15 minutes or so, 10 to 15 minutes, you're going to unmold it. So you want to run your knife 
around the edges just to make sure it clips out. You're going to turn it over. It should come right out. And then you're going to cut them into however you want to cut them. If you want to cut them into square. So we'll go here. And there's an example there. So cut them as you like. And then you can decorate them any way you want. You'll have to bring in any additional items if you want to um, compete for the best brownie presentation.